the Senior Summit. We're leaving town, baby. Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis. The Senior Summit is coming up here in Queen Anne's County at the 4-H Fairground, May 18th from 9 to 2. And some of the sponsors have come in to tell us what they're going to have at the booth. I have the hat on because they're doing a hoedown theme and there's going to be demonstrations out there and Rortans are going to have food for sale. And so we wanted to talk. This is Andrea and she's going to tell us about day-to-day -day finances. Day-to-day -day finances is a um, daily money manager situation um, that could help seniors, people in the military who may travel frequently, um, just the basic type of bookkeeping services, um, mail sorting, keeping things in track, making sure bills get paid on time and utilities aren't shut off or insurance bills aren't paid timely, things lapse. It's sort of um, a way just to keep everybody's things up to date and current and there's a need for it in our aging community. So tell us when a person stops at the table to see you mm -hmm. out at the summit, what types of things do you have? Flyers or pamphlets? I'm going to have that... uh, brochures and flyers that go over the types of services, the daily bill paying, the monthly uh, reconciling of a checkbook, um, tax record organizations, kind of a, a rack card that'll list all the things that we do. Uh -huh. um, co of course, goodies, you yeah. know, um, I, I've ordered a handful of things. I'm not sure what's going to make it or not make it to right. that actual event, but right. you know, always have the goodies on the tables for the, um, you know, people to pick up while they're there. And then um, I might get one of those spin games so they can, um, you know, get a chance at a wheel and, right. and win get a, something. Yeah, win yeah, something. Yeah, take, take something <laughs> home with them. So tell us how the business started. You said you just you know we are new to the eastern shore and i am doing lower delaware areas as well um my main industry obviously is an insurance um, and financial service background but um about six seven months ago uh, a couple of clients lost their spouses and it was apparent to me that there is a need for um, a transition um, situation at that point if if you're unfamiliar with handling the bills and and you're thrown into a situation, right. it can get very overwhelming very quickly. Um, my mom wound up in a nursing home several months back as I was taking her checkbook um, in to her, helping her there. A couple of the people there asked if I could help them as well. And then it was then that I saw the need and I was, I'm hoping to fulfill it um, just to you know, be able to pop in, keep people straight as far as locating the bills, making sure they're paid on time, which could save, you know, not only late fees, but bounce check fees or cancellations of things like utilities or insurance bills that right. need to be kept up to date. And you don't certainly want to lose something like that. Um, sometimes you can't get it back once it's, it's terminated. So that um, was the need. Best way to get in touch with you? How does someone contact um, if you? If you can't meet me there at the summit, um, there's a phone number, toll free, 866-250-9976. Uh -huh. um, I do have a website. It's the word day, the number two, day, finances, llc.com. I know that's a little lengthy. Uh, <laughs> um, and there's an email address, which is info at daytodayfinancesllc.com. Okay. Now, when someone um, needs those services, do you come out to the house and look at their whole budget? Or how does that work? It is an individual situation. Okay. Um, everybody is going to be different. Um, sometimes my services can only be temporary. There could be just a need to get things back under control because an absence or an illness, you know, got things out of order. Um, so I can come to you, you can come to me. It, um, it, all, it depends on, on the person's situation. There's even a way to work remotely where we don't even see each other should we not um, need to or if we can't get together. Okay. Um, typically when somebody needs or requires services, um, right now it is the first two months are the most cumbersome because we're trying to put our arms around what is all involved. And then from there, 
it once everything is on track and streamlined if you still want to retain or feel a need to use the services then we pop in like maybe an hour to a month so okay. your first month or two is probably anywhere from four to six hours and that's the most time consuming because obviously i'm coming into a situation that i know nothing about so we're right. trying to figure out where we can save you money how we can streamline things you know if if you're computer savvy yeah. and you want to yeah. use <laughs> um, online billing or online paying, then we can certainly do that. Um, you know, if you choose to have mail still mailed, so you have the tax record thing, we can do that as well. It is again, it's personal. It's it's your own choice, and everybody's situation is different. Yeah, yeah. Because with my own personal situation, things that are online, my husband handles the checks that get mailed. I handle so we both take care of bills but nowhere is there a list of all the bills and who pays them right. so if it's a person that relied on their spouse to do all the bill paying they have no clue probably Absolutely. all the bills that do come in right. and whether they're paid online or written by check right and then you may you if you're now in the one that is taking over that situation you may not want to handle it in the same form or fashion you know right. so it, it again it's an individual preference and i work in any situation just to make it easier on the person that is having to deal with that situation now. So. Now, how hard is it to get in contact with the companies? You know, when someone's paying bills mm -hmm. and the spouse dies, for instance, mm -hmm. um, do they require the name to be taken off that bill? Some do. Um, utility bills, if it's uh, strictly in a spouse's name and that person has passed or if it's a divorce situation and now you're getting your own, things need to be established in your own name because it is it is something you're responsible for now. So okay. it, it's time consuming and that's where the first month or two can be the- Cumbersome. The, exactly, the longest in the process of it all. But once it's all streamlined and you have that comfort level, if you're able to pick it up and no longer require the services, then that's that's great. And then I've done my job. <laughs> right. Um, but there are there are times when it's an ongoing need. Um, you know, as as we get older and cases of dementia or Alzheimer's and things are getting forgotten about, kids, family members don't live right next door right. anymore. Right. So if you find that your children are states away and you just need somebody to come in and make sure it's everything is taken care of, and then I report back to. Um, one of the children who are, that's, you know, a feasible as well. Right. So it, it, again, it's a personal situation. We sit down, we figure out what we need to do to, to keep everything um, on that line and make life easier for you and let you focus on the things that need to be done. So if someone doesn't make it out to the summit, mm -hmm. give them your number again so that if they need, let's say someone watching today, mm -hmm needs that maybe for their loved one or their parent or, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. that um, they can get in touch with you. Sure. It's day-to-day -day finances, D-A-Y, the number two, D-A-Y, finances is F-I-N-A-N-C-E-S-L-L-C.com. Okay. That's the website. The email is info, I-N-F-O, at day-to-dayfinances.com or daytodayfinancesllc.com, I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> and then the phone number toll free is 866-250-9976. Okay. So hopefully you guys will come out and see Andrea at her table and enjoy the socialization at the It's always a good time. <laughs> it is, it's fun out there. We're just hoping for good weather. Absolutely. All <laughs> right, it is a good thing to have you come nice in. Nice to meet you. Hopefully we'll see you out there. Friday, May 18th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Queen Anne's County 4-H Park. We are!